Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a 10 box all about the Bowman baseball mixer, random team break number one. And this mixer, we've got two opportunities to win a Chase the Mantle entry. A lot of great boxes in here as well, including that Hit Parade Sapphire Bowman edition. All card ship, all teams are in. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Most of you bought your teams, your spots straight up. I appreciate that. We only, to, we only ended up doing one filler. Congrats to the winners in that filler. David M, last spot mojo. All teams are in, all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Two and a one, three times for names and teams. Good luck, one, two, and three. And there's another version of this mixer loaded up as well if you want to run this back. David down to Taylor. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Arizona down to the Miami Marlins. All right, so David with the Diamondbacks, James with the Reds, Joe with the Cubs, Nelson with the Rays, Taylor with the Red Sox, Sean with the Astros, Chris with the Giants, Jordan with the Nats, David with the Tigers, Eric with the Royals, Ken with the Guardians, Nicholas, Rockies and Rangers, David with the Yankees, Nicholas with the White Sox, David with the Orioles, Barry with the Twins, Nicholas with the A's, Joshua with the Jays, Joe with the Brewers, Kevin with the Phillies, Scott with the Padres, Nancy with the Cardinals, David Braves and Mariners, Zach with the Angels, Zach Sullivan with the Angels, Zach Gwynn with the Pirates, David with the Mets, Zach Sullivan with my Dodgers, huge comeback win for them tonight against the Rockies and Taylor, Clark with the Miami Marlins. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video really quick. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then we'll break. So we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so the list remains the same here on a true Tuesday, the 18th. David M., last spot, Mojo. And here's all the boxes right here. We're going to start with the base heavier stuff, like that 2024 Bowman baseball box in front of you. We'll work through this side and then we'll work through each of these boxes and we'll close out with the hit parade. Thanks everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, doing this break. Thanks for spending a little time with me on a, on a Tuesday night. You could, be, you could be doing anything, but I'm glad you decided to do something with me. Uh, my Dodgers coming back. From, they, they went into the top of the ninth in Denver, down seven runs. A grand slam and a three run, a grand slam by Jason Hayward and a three run homer by Tosca Hernandez later. And the Dodgers win. Dodgers win uh, 11 to nine. It's one of the more crazy regular season games I've seen in a long time. Or sorry, down by, down by five. Anyway, you know what I mean. They scored seven runs in the ninth. They were down by five. I always say, especially going to like the ninth inning, I always say you got to be within Grand Slam range. The Dodgers were out of Grand Slam range, so... Even after Jason Hayward hit that home run, that grand slam, they were sold down a run, right? So then I was like, ah, oh, you know, this is where we come up just short because grand slam ring. No. Tasker Hernandez hits a three-run homer, so. Rough start for Walker Buehler, though. Four innings, seven earned runs. Only two strikeouts, one walk. I feel like he gets a bit of a long leash though, right? I don't think he's actually pitched competitively for almost two years. He was originally trying to come back at the end of last year, and he had some good a good rehab start. But I don't think his arm was kind of bouncing back as quickly as it needed as he wanted it to anyway, for 
for regular rotation work. So the Dodgers shut him down again. He looked good in the spring, but Dodgers were uber cautious, didn't play him much in the spring, did not, uh, here's our first autograph, Tavion Josenberger for the Orioles, David M. And then kept him on the IL for a little bit and slowly brought him back, and I'm sure they'll slowly keep him, slowly keep him going there. Got you, Andrew Morales. There's a few guys that are kind of the key players that we like to sleeve and top load. Keep that aside over here. Different. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, yeah, actually, you're right, David. If you think about it, he's still basically getting his spring training starts in. There's Walker Jenkins, except. You know, except he's playing regular season games. 31 out of 149, Walker Jenkins from Minnesota. That's going to be for Barry and the Twins. Yeah, I mean, how many, how many innings do you usually pitch in, in, in spring? All right, he's at 37 now. Trying to look at uh, Tyler Glass now. How many innings he pitched in the spring? I have no idea. But. Yamamoto, there's Ellie Dela Cruz rookie cards. And wow. Henry Davis, Pirates, Zach Wynn with the Pirates. This is a case hit. These little, uh, the anime cards, I think they call them. That's pretty cool because, I mean, you know, when you do a mixer, everyone knows that when you do a mixer, you never know, <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. You know, and and out of a single box in this mixer, seeing the case it is always a is always a treat. Yeah, so there you go, Zach Wynn. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of rust on Walker Bueller. You hear Jerry Harrison Jr. saying, "Yeah, he's been pretty much has not been pitching competitive baseball in about two years." As long as that Walker Buell seemed to be happy with his velocity, so as long as that velocity is still kind of there, that's uh, that's the biggest concern coming out of such a lengthy in, such another injury, another injury on that elbow, and then now it just has to come together a little bit. Behind Verdugo is Carson Rucker. I knew there's a parallel there to 199 Purple Lunar going to go to the Tigers. That'll be for David M. The autograph is Capri Ortiz. That's going to be for the Halos. That's going to go to Zach Sullivan. A couple different Zachs in this break. Number 27 prospect for the Angels. Uh, there's Arjun Namala for the Blue Jays. 
supposed to be another uh, another high level name. That's uh, Josh and the Blue Jays. Kyle Teal is on my list, right? Yeah. Taylor with the Red Sox. Here's the Chrome version of it. Still looking for our. Got a nice case hit. Looking for the third. The last autograph in this box. We got Michael Arroyo, paper to four ninety nine for Seattle. That's going to be for David. And there's another angel, Josh Wimmer, 152 out of 499, refractor autograph going to Zach Sullivan. There you go, 29th best prospect in the organization, organizational prospect. There's Max Clark, another big hitter for Detroit. Brock Wilkin is a name for the Brew Crew. That's going to be for Joe Downing. Do the White Sox end up trading this guy? Would you be good with the Dodgers retiring here, or do you think they need to move on, on from him, not with him? Um, I think, I think the Dodgers would be happy to offer Jason Hayward another one-year deal if they can't find a more permanent solution in the uh, in right field. But he's still a plus defender. Um. He's a plus defender, and he's he's a good uh, left-handed bat in a platoon situation. So he still got that. He's still 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 a pretty clutch hitter. I mean, there can certainly be longer-term upgrades. You know, if they can find that, that'd be great. Nice green lunar, Walker Jenkins. And I'm sure if the Dodgers can find a more longer-term younger solution I'm sure they would but if not I think they'll I think they'd be happy to bring him back for another season on a one-year deal I mean hell they could find a permanent solution and still sign him to a one-year deal I mean he's, he's just just the the leadership quality alone he's like an extra extra coach out there on the team Another uh, Walker Jenkins for the Twins. That'll be for Barry. And he's one of Freddie Freeman's best friends. I think that maybe that helps too. But Jason Hayward might get, you know, someone may offer him like a two or three year deal for a decent chunk of change and It'd be hard for, that might be the last big contract Jason Hayward will get in his career, so I wouldn't be surprised if he, uh, if he takes that. 34 years old, yeah, maybe someone gives him a two-year deal. Just taking a quick look in, uh, yeah, he's getting paid $9 million on a one-year deal this year. Let's go with some Bowman Draft Asia edition. So, yeah, I mean, if someone's like, Jason, we'll give you, you know, we'll give you what would be kind of reasonable. If someone's like, we'll give you $12 million in two years or something like that in a two-year deal, then I think, which someone might offer if they just need, like, that kind of presence on the team, then I think... I think Jason would do it. Or someone's like, hey, here's three years for $11 million a year or something like that. Come be our DH. 
You know, come play some outfield. We've got a young team that needs your kind of veteran leadership and a clutch bat. You know, you don't think... What, I'm trying to think, what's what's a team that could use it? I mean, Dodgers could still use a Jason Hayward. But, I mean, Jason Hayward, I feel like, would be beneficial for a team like the Blue Jays. Right? I'm trying to look at young, up-and-coming teams. The Royals could use a Jason Hayward type. You know, Mariners could use hitting. Wherever they can get it. Right? Maybe the Nationals, who are just a couple games under 500. Nationals, maybe. Could use a guy like him next year. They might overpay for him, overpay a little bit for him. You know, maybe Pirates. Teams like that. There's some teams out there. Yeah, maybe maybe a maybe a year and an option somewhere. Although, unless I mean, unless someone blows them away. There's Jack Hurley, gold. Diamondbacks, last spot mojo, David M. 14 out of 50. I mean, I, yeah, I could, I could see the Dodgers signing me again for a year, though. But although... I'm not sure. It'll be interesting. I've got a feeling that they might put that Jason Hayward money into Teoscar Hernandez. I mean, if he keeps it up this year, I think he's, Teoscar Hernandez certainly kind of deserved, you know, maybe a four-year deal or something like that, four- or five-year deal. Here's Quinn McDaniel, Purple Lunar, to 199 for the Giants. Chris Parent with my rivals. By the way, these are the Asia exclusive parallels. All card chip. Yeah, I could see Jason Hayward being a coach too. His brother is a coach. This is Bowman Chrome uh, Hobby Edition, and we'll do some mega boxes here. So yeah, I think I think there's there's certainly something in the family that it might be interested in coaching. I also think Jason Hayward has has a small child with his wife, so there could be. A, also see him being like, listen, I just, I want to coach my kids' little league team. I want to do that. Yeah, Jason Jason Hayward I think at all levels has been has overall been pretty pretty well liked as a person.
All right, onwards. Jordan Groshan's Shimmer. And there's uh, Edarki, Edwarki Fernandez. This is indeed the bow mixer. Brew Crew, that's going to be for Joe. Did you buy them? Joe Downing. No, I did not. There's Tyler Freeman to four ninety nine. Guardians, that will be for Ken. The name Joe Downing always rem reminds me. Of, um... Of, uh, Al Downing. He played for the Dodgers for a little bit. Days of Glory, Nick Gonzalez. And there's Jefferson Cuero. 95 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Brew Crew. Another one for Joe. And we got Alec Bohm, rookie card. Rookie Alec Bohm to 150. Blue. And a uh, Kobe Mayo autograph, who I believe is a Oriole. Is Kobe Mayo an Oriole? He's still an Oriole. Yeah, he was a non-roster invitee to Orioles spring training this year. Hit 326, homer, and 11 RBIs. And he's hitting 290 in the minors. In 42 games, 13 homers, 37 RBIs, a 964 OPS. On base plus slugging, so it's another... Orioles youngster working his way up the ranks. I feel like through traders free agency, this is another team that could use that maybe could use a little veteran presence. Although they seem to be playing fine without like a without veteran leadership. All right, a couple mega boxes, and then it's all autos from here on out. Three, 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 and the hit parade. Another uh, another version of this is in the store right now. If you want to run this back, got to work on a few fillers, but let's keep chipping away at everything. Let's open up both boxes at once. So this is the 2024 Bowman mega box. I seen seen the video of Rick Camp who hit a go-ahead homer in the bottom of the 18th inning. He was a reliever, and they put him into bat because they were out of players. Having at 3 a.m. I have not seen that video. When did when did this happen? We got a go Dodger sign up there. Nice. Back in 1985. Major League Baseball has ensured that we will we will not have quirky situations like that anymore. I wonder what the longest extra innings game has been since the rule change. Like with the the uh, the Ghost Runners and all that. There's Adrian Santana. Nice. 
Autograph for the Rays. Nelson with the Rays. They're a first round pick, late first round pick. We've got a Corbin Carroll. 91 out of 175 for David and the Diamondbacks. What's up, Logan? There's an Aiden Miller for the uh, Phillies. Big name for the Phillies, Kevin M. Arjun Namala for Toronto. That's for Josh. And then there's Nazan Zanatello. 62 out of 199 purple for Taylor Clark and the Boston Red Sox. Second round pick. Eighth best prospect in the Red Sox organization. Nice. Longest game with the X-Ratings hybrid rule is a 16-inning affair between the San Diego Padres and Los Angeles Dodgers last August. Oh, that was written in 2023, so it happened in 2022. There hasn't been anything longer since then, I guess? Um, what am I doing here? All right, back on track. All right, there's Kyle Teal for the Red Sox. This refractor is exclusive to this... Bowman's. And there's a George Lombard Jr., one of the big Yankee prospects for David from the Bronx Bombers. They're, they're late first round pick. All right, done and done. All right, we're going to go 19, 20, 21, 2024, 20, and then we'll end with the hit parade. So let's go back in time to 2019. With uh, Tatis Jr. and Pete Alonzo on the box. So in 2019, they did give us a uh, slider box. All right. Good luck, gang. First one out of the gate is Christian Javier, his Bowman first. Pretty solid pitcher for the Astros. I think he just went on the IL recently, though. But it's going to be for Sean Maddock and the Strohs. Ooh, we got some nice color here. What do we got here? Some orange. It's or orange Astros. A little color match. Brandon Bielak. That is 21 out of 25, top right-hand corner. I'll show you in a second. Sean Maddock with the Strohs. There you go. Is he, is he working his way up the ranks? I feel like I've heard his name bandied about. I think he's still with the Astros. Nope, he's with the A's now. He's only played three games this season. All right. Five innings, a few strikeouts. All right. Never mind on that. We got a Ranger coming up, and it is at a 4.99. Tyler Phillips. It's worth actually. It's worth looking up all these guys because. 2019, it's kind of a long time ago in baseball terms. Tyler Phillips, 
Tyler Phillips is uh, still in the minors. 13 games started, 80 innings, 5.06 ERA, 7 wins, 3 losses, 68 strikeouts over 80 innings. All right. Not, nothing too crazy here for Nicholas and the Rangers. What about that first play? Oh, well, Christian Javier, we know. He's, he's been doing, doing pretty well in, in the majors. All right. Let's go move a year ahead to 2020. We got Luis Robert and Jordan Alvarez on the cover here. We got a slider box here as well in 2020. I think in 2021, we did not get a slider box. Might have been a supply chain thing. Wow, Logan breaking some news. Mookie broke his hand, heard it here first. Uh, congrats, Logan. We don't call you the, be the best in the business in breaking news for nothing. We got, a, got Jeff Passan levels right here. Not a single person has brought it up, Logan. It's crazy. There's Ethan Lindau. For the Phillies, that'll be for Kevin. That's, what's Ethan Lindau doing? Um, I think he's still in the Phillies organization. What's, what's he doing with the Phillies? Nothing. I have no news available. Nothing. Not doesn't have stats for twenty twenty four. Maybe he's injured. All right. Next guy is is Austin Shenton. Seattle Mariners. David M. Wow. Lo Duncan's breaking news now as well. Apparently, Shohei Otai's translator fired. For betting four million for millions of dollars out of Shohei's account, what? That's crazy talk. Austin Shen still with it, still with the Rays. No, with the Rays, he was with the Mariners. So, yeah, so he's he's getting some playing time here and there. This is going to go to Seattle. That'll be for uh, David M. And the third and final one is is Colin Barber. Colin Barber, what are you doing? Still, still in the minors. He's in Double A. OPS 753, six homers, 13 RBIs in, uh, in about 32 games. That's not bad. Outfielder. May, might be part of the Astros youth movement, Sean Maddock. All right, yeah, the Astros doing well. Last couple boxes here. 2021, we're moving on a year ahead. No slider box. This might have been pandemic supply chain related. Some of you might remember. <laughs> you might remember the pandemic. I'm gonna use one of these extra sponge bit, spongy bits here. All right, there's uh, Ozelvis Basabe, Texas Rangers, Nicholas. I don't recall. I probably would have recalled if his name was making some noise. Well, 2021 guys, though, still, still might be in the minors. Might work their way up sooner rather than later, though. There's Reiner Santana for the Giants. It's going to go to Chris Parent. Rangers is Nicholas. And the last one here is, is Basabe again. Well, now that we've got two of his autos, Nicholas, 
This one's a speckle one, 260 out of 299. Now I feel compelled to look them up. Listen, part of, part of group breaking, obviously. You want to know what these guys are doing. All right, Venezuela infielder. He's currently with the Rays. But he was a Ranger. Blah, 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 blah. He was part of the Nathaniel Lowe trade. Added to the 40-man roster. Triple A beginning in 2023. Promoted to the majors. His first career, hit his first career home run, a grand slam against the Rockies, August 22. 31 games, slash 218, 277, 310, one home run, 12 RBIs, and started in Triple A this season. All right, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe he still has, still can, um, still can make something happen. He's 23 years old, so he's got to make something happen kind of soon. That's probably, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at his, at, at look at him after this break. Back to slider boxes in 2024. Wait, is that, is that actually recent news, Logan? Jason Dominguez injured again? All right, there's Ryan Burroughs. And these guys are in 2024, so we might see him in a year or two. Actually, I did, I did not hear that. So there's a little injury setback for Jason Dominguez. It sucks. Miss Vince Scully. All right. Uh, Ryan Burroughs goes to uh, the White Sox. Nicholas. Another White Sox. Riku Nishida. 009 out of 150. And there's Brock Wilkin. Nice. 79 out of 499. Big name for the Brewers. That's going to be for Joe Downing. I know. See, now that, that's what happens. Eric Houston, we have to we have to we have to question uh, we have to question guys like Logan and Rex and and other jokesters. All right, tenth and final box. Good luck, everybody. You know what's great about this this break? It's all about the Bowman, first of all. So great prospect hunting in here, and we got two. Two chase the mantle spots. That's what's being given away in this break. All right, let's see who we got here. It's, we got a graded card, PSA slab, and we have a Yankee, Brandon Maia. 006 out of 100 from 2023 Bowman Chrome, PSA 9 Atomic Refractor. The number one international prospect for 2023. Gary Sheffield comps. Says on the back of the baseball card. That's always nice. Nice. Yankees. That'll be for David. David and the Bronx Bombers. And there you go. Done with the break. Very nice one here. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for getting in on it. All right. Now, two. Count them, two. Mickey Mantle entries being given away here. Nice giveaway. Let's gather everybody's names, one through 30, and everyone in between. New dice, new list. Top two after three. One, two, and three. Top two after three. Good luck. Now from three on down, three through 30, it's sad times. But remember, we've got a lot of opportunities Still, even after, what, a week since we announced, but we still got a lot of opportunities to, uh, to give away some more entries. So keep trying, folks. Keep trying. Top two, you're happy. You got entries. David, you're happy. You got an entry. David, you're happy. You got an entry. You got both. A clean sweep. This could happen to you, ladies and gentlemen. Keep getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I almost stopped the video. I want to do a recap, though. Not quite done yet. Here's the recap. Nice Brock Wilkin. Hopefully a bunch of future stars here. If you're a baseball prospector, you know how valuable this Bowman stuff is. So, hey, keep getting into it. 
on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was pretty awesome to see as well out of that Bowman Jumbo box. And there you go. There you have it. Thanks, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.